Hello, America. This is my new YouTube channel. My name is Ken Fields, and we're going to start doing YouTubing channels to express my opinion about politics and or everything else that I've got a gripe with and that I don't have a gripe with. Today, we are going to start with Portland, Oregon, the mayor of Portland, Ted Wheeler, and the governor of Portland, what's her name, Kate Brown. They should go hide in a hole and bury themselves. They are a disgrace to the community. They are a disgrace to their constituents. They are a disgrace to America by letting thugs and, you know, people in general go down and run the city and do whatever they want. It's a free-for-all down there. I don't understand it. But if there's any criminals out there that are around that want to, you know, come out and play and do what you want, basically like the movie The Purge, you know, where you can go around and, you know, do whatever you want for 24 hours, except here it lasts longer. Come on up to Portland, Oregon, man. I mean, this is where it's at. There's, there, there, it's just a free-for-all. The cops won't even come. The, the, the street racers are, are doing whatever they want on the bridges and the freeways and the streets, and the, and the protesters are down there, you know, thugging and breaking and stealing and and whatever they want down there, and, and Ted, Ted Wheeler's been letting them have at it for a month now. I, I don't understand it. I mean, I hope he doesn't get reelected. You know, I, I just don't. But, you know, I, I guess they're all dummies out there that don't see it, and they think he's doing a good job. All the thugs think he's doing a good job. They've got nothing to fear. What, what was the thing the other day? They, they arrested 50 people recently, and, and they released released all but two with charges, you, you know, because it, it's just it, all it says is come here, do what you want, we won't touch you, you know. It's like it's like it's like it's like an adult Disneyland, you know. It, it really is, and it's so sad that it's got to be that way to the beautiful town of Portland. And Kate Brown, she she's just she's just a wreck. She she has no idea what's going around. I don't understand why they don't get the the. The, the, you know, the, the National Guard out here and start doing something about it. I mean, you know, how do you stop people like that? Well, you know, you stop them. You, you tell them, you come out tonight, we're going to have the National Guard here. You loot, you get shot. You break into somebody's house, you get shot. Because you're ruining other people's property. You're ruining their livelihood. Enforceable action needs to be taken at this point. It's been way too long, and, and it's out of control. So, you know, I hope you all understand that, you know, it's got nothing to do with what lives matter and blah, 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 because nobody cares anymore. I mean, I understand it's hard for everybody, and, and I, I guess I, I do care because I, I guess I do understand that, you know, it's, it's rough out there for the blacks and stuff, but that doesn't give them the right to go ahead and ruin everybody else's livelihood. It just doesn't. You want to go down, hold up some signs, and yell that white people are idiots? Go ahead, you know, I don't care. Cops are idiots, and I, and I get that. Speaking about cops, they're, 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 they're built on a military platform. And, and that's the bad thing about them, man. These guys are coming back from the military, and they're signing up for the police force, and all they want to do is go to war and fight. That's all they're interested in is fight, fight, fight. They go out of their way to look to cause a problem just so they can have a fight. You know, they, they treat people with no respect, no nothing at all. They, they just do what they want. It's a free-for-all for them, too, and, and I'm getting sick of that. You know, if they want to fight and they want to kill people, why don't they go back to Afghan or or Beirut or wherever the hell they're from and let them join the military again and go shoot people and kill people there. I mean, that's what they want to do, then have at it. But this is America, and you don't do that here. You treat people with dignity and respect, and then you don't end up in this situation. You know, this is just not right. And the police force defunding them, that's not going to do any good because what's the first thing people do when they have a problem? They call the police. Oh, we need you now, though. You know, the... They just, they just don't care. You know, they just need to go back to Beirut if that's what they want to fight. You know, you, you want to come here and you want to be treated with respect and you got to treat people with respect to get it. And, and what you're doing, Mr. Officer of the Law, is you're a joke. Not all of you. I agree there's a lot of good ones. But it's the bad ones that's making everybody look bad. And that's not right. And they got to weed those sons of bitches out, man. I don't know how to do it. They can do testing psychological testing and stuff like that. 
but but they do not belong on the police force. They do not need to pull you out of your car every time they pull you over. They do not need to search your car. They, they don't need to harass you. They don't need to ask all these questions because none of it's their damn business. You know, you want to ask where you're going, then you're nervous. You know, everything smells like pot nowadays, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's a goddamn joke, man. And you guys need to straighten your ass up. You want to get respect, you earn it. And you've lost my respect over the years. And I got friends who are cops, and you guys have lost all my respect. My friends got out of it because of assholes like you. So I don't know what to tell you. Well, this is the first of my YouTube channel, and I'm going to try to do one once every couple of days and see how it works out. Y'all have a nice day now. See you tomorrow.